I'm Colin Gorey and this is day one of the BT Young Scientists and Technology Exhibition 2017. So Timothy, how did the Ultravision concept come about? Uh, well, the concept came about when I was basically walking down from school one day and a blind person hid into um, a wing mirror sticking out of a car. So then I asked them, you know, do they actually have a problem with obstacles? And the actual problem was with obstacles that are temporary or obstacles that aren't grounded. And so how does it work exactly? Well, the sensor uh, obstacle avoidance system is built into 3D printed glasses and that has an ultrasonic sensor which when the blind person wears the glasses it will give them the distance between them and an obstacle that they approach. So Cormac, how did the idea of a, uh, a, cow, <laughs> a cow manure brick come about? Well, our teacher was uh, renovating our house as the soot was coming through the concrete and she called a plasterer and the plasterer pushed cow manure in the concrete to stop the soot coming through. So we were there to investigate why that happened. And what advantages does this brick give over, say, a typical concrete brick? Well, it's much more breathable, which means that um, water can come quicker out into it and evaporate out of it faster, which can be used when renovating old buildings because um, the stone that they're made of is also breathable and they work much better together than normal concrete. So, Gregory, could you just give a brief overview of your project? It, it seems quite interesting. Yes, well, my idea is how to make oil at an affordable cost using algae. It's a system of a double-walled extruded um, tubing, which is basically just a tube within a tube. Now, all oil come, came from algae originally, from millions of years ago. What I have here is a display. I have the temperatures being displayed live on a monitor and all the controls being put through a Raspberry Pi, which is essentially a small computer. I have the tube underneath, which is growing the algae using LED tubings. Of course, I wouldn't be using LEDs to grow the large-scale product. I would put thousands of these tubes in the Saharan desert or the Namibian desert. These would allow me to grow algae on such a large scale that I could make oil at a profit. And you're saying that y your system would be more efficient than ones that have been previously developed. Could you just tell us a little about that? Yes, well, I found out the idea by just thinking what are the problems that they have. They have problems with evaporation, so I made it a, cold, a closed system. They had problems with maintaining temperature, so I made the tube within a tube and it just solved every single problem. I can clean the inside of the tube perfectly easily because it's a flexible pipe. And, well, it just came about and fixed it all perfectly together. So, Leona, what was the idea behind this uh, project? So, um, we were investigating the science behind likes on social media and um, we noticed ourselves um, and our classmates that there was an increased concern with social media and posting on social media and people checking their phones for likes. So that's um, really what encouraged us to do this project and we wanted to investigate the science behind it. And uh, Rachel, what were some of the like really surprising findings? Um, well, we found that um, 50, around 55% of the students we surveyed uh, felt the need to reach a certain number of likes and so much so that 25% of them would be very likely to delete a post if they failed to reach their target number of likes. We also uh, found out that um, over nearly 70% of students uh, see social media as a platform for promoting popularity. Salim, could you tell us a little about your intelligent traffic light sensor? Uh, so this intelligent traffic light sensor, it senses the car and it, it makes cars go faster through the junction so that they're not waiting at traffic lights for up to 30 seconds, so that they just have to be waiting 5 seconds and then they're gone. And what kind of technology are we dealing with here? Um, so I'm using the Arduino for the, the brains of the whole system and I'm using the, the transmitter and the receiver to, to transmit the signal to the receiver on the car to tell the car what to do. What was, like, what was originally your idea behind uh, starting this project? Uh, our mum is a teacher in our school and she was always complaining that she thought that, our, that her classroom was going to make her sick and I also had another teacher who always made us open the windows because she said to put all the germs outside, otherwise we'd all be sick. 
And what were some of the interesting findings, Emer? Uh, well, we've, uh, we monitored the air and the no amount of bacteria in the air in a number of classrooms, and we found out that it wasn't exceeding um, a harmful concentration. And we also um, identified or, uh, some of the bacteria, and we weren't able to identify it con like concisely. But um, what we it's the normal bacteria that's found in air, and it's non-pathogenic, so it won't make you sick. Um, so that's how we came up with the conclusion that it wasn't. Like, that our classrooms aren't making a sick from the air. Enjoyed this video? Click here to get the latest news on siliconrepublic.com and follow us on social media.